What's going on? I gotta talk kind of quiet because there are ghosts in my house. Either way, we will be fixing the problem with the SSE Engine Fixes mod, disabling all our mods when starting up the game. I broke this video into sections here, and we will be putting a check mark next to each section once we complete it. You can also skip to that section in the timeline on this YouTube video. First thing we want to do is check our Skyrim version. There are two ways to do this. The first one is going to our Steam account, going to Skyrim, right click, then going to Properties, then click Installed Files, then click Browse. Once we do that, scroll down and then go to Skyrim SE. Go ahead and right click and then go to Properties. Then go to Details. The number we want to look at here is the file version. Mine is a 1.6.1130.0. This is considered a an anniversary edition if it's higher than a 1.6. Even though my Skyrim game itself is a Skyrim special edition in the modding community if it's higher than a 1.6, it is considered the anniversary edition. So keep that file open. The second way to check our game version is going to our modding organizer here and then clicking the folder icon then clicking the game open game folder and then it opens the same folder right here keep this file open or this folder open for the next step so first step is complete the next step is making sure we have the correct SKSE build on the website this will be in the link in the description it is the second one here it is the build 2.2.5 you should already know how to set it up since you're watching this video in the first place. But if you don't, I will quickly explain how to set it up properly. You would want to download this and then extract all its contents in its folder to this folder we still had open from step one. After you put everything inside this folder right here, you want to go to your mod manager and then you want to go to the drop down menu here and then you want to click edit. Once you click edit, you want to click the plus symbol here and then click add from file. After that, scroll down and then click the SKSE 64 underscore loader and then open it. Once you open it, this box right here will be completely blank. You want to click this right here and then you want to click the Skyrim Special Edition here and then you want to click select folder. After you click select folder, you want to click apply and then part, uh, click OK. Then you'll click the drop down menu and make sure you have the SKSE64 loader as your primary source of launching the game. And that's pretty much how to set it up and that's verifying make, making sure you have the correct version which is the 2.2.5 version. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. The third step is to make sure you to download the Microsoft Visual C++ 2019 64 bit version. On the website this will also be in the link in the description look for this and then underneath this scroll down and it'll be this guy right here download this you will re, uh, be required to restart your PC after you restart your PC just to be safe you should also it's optional but you should also download this as well you will also require to restart your PC once you've done that we will move on to the next step I just saw that these were out of order but our next step is to Make sure we have the correct version of this mod. The mod name is address address library for SKSE plugin. Once we go to the website, this link will be in the description. Go to the files and just make sure you download this one right here. The all-in-one address library anniversary edition. Use the mod manager and then just enable it inside your mod organizer too. That'll pretty much be it for this step. Let's move on to the next one. The fifth step is making sure we have the correct version of the SSE Engine Fixes mod. So on the website for that, uh, it'll be in the link in the description, but the website for that mod, once we're on that website, we want to go to Files, and then we want to download this guy right here. Download it through your Mod Manager 2, and then once it's inside your Mod Manager 2, go ahead and enable it. The next step is the second part of downloading the SSE engine. So we just finished this part right here. This is the next part. 
is downloading the second portion of that mod. So on the SSE Engine website, underneath files, underneath this file which we just downloaded, there's a second part which is right here. This is a manual download. Once you download that file, it'll be a folder consisting of a couple things I'll show you here once it's downloaded. It consists of a couple things here, these three things. Move these three things inside the file, or sorry, inside the folder, the Skyrim folder right here that we've been working with since the beginning of this video. Move everything, all the three, all three of these things inside of this folder. Once everything is moved inside of this folder, that successfully installs the SSE Engine Fixes mod. The seventh and final step is making sure all these commands are set to false inside this file, the enginefixes.toml file. To find this file, we go to our mod organizer, and then we go to SSE Engine Fixes, look for it, look for the mod, go to the SSE Engine Fixes mod and double click. And then make sure you're in the text files, and then click enginefixes.toml right here, and then click Open in Explorer. Once it opens in Explorer, go ahead and just find it, and then open it up. And then once it opens up, let's go ahead and find the achievement one. So, achievement, it's right here. Mine's already set to false. Make sure yours is set to false as well. And then we'll look for sound. Sound, as you can see, mine's already set to false. Make sure yours is set to false. And then we look for screenshot. And mine's already set to false. Make sure you do that as well. After that, make sure you save and then close. And you can keep your achievement mods enabler enabled as well. And make sure you turn everything on. Once everything is turned on, make sure you right click on this right side and enable all. And once it's enable all, go ahead and click sort and then start up the game and it should work fine.